Okay, if anybody can help me here. This is getting absolutely ridiculous. This is Friday, October 28th, 2011. And I purchased Battlefield 3, the limited edition, for PC on the release date, October 25th, 2011. So let's go like that. Okay. It says I tried to play, which is a lie. Alright. So let's see here. I have my PC character selected, so it should go. Let's go to launch campaign. So we've got an initializing deal soon, I think, or maybe not. Initializing. Still initializing. And nothing. Nothing is happening. Not at all. Well, disappeared. What do you know? Raptor thinks I played for 29 seconds. Woo hoo hoo. Alright. Let's go to just a quick match. Whatever. Thinks I'm joining a server. Possibly showing a map, I'm not even sure. Just says Phase Chicago, whatever. Come on. See what happens. As it always does. Usually the multiplayer actually takes quite a bit longer than a uh, campaign. See, now, this is why Battlefield should have just stuck to discs. Playing on discs. It still thinks I played 29 seconds. <sighs> Instead of going through a uh, ridiculous website that doesn't tend to work. And I have seen other forums that say, or, well, the actual official forums right up here, where people with the exact same problem have this occurring. Uh, one of my friends also has this exact same problem happening. Um, yeah, it's getting a little ridiculous. <sighs> kind of makes me think I wasted 60 bucks, $64, something like that. You know, whatever. <sighs> I guess the Xbox version is all I have to go on right now. So if you can supply anything or any kind of help, uh, I would be, I don't know, more than gracious enough to accept whatever help you could, uh, provide. So, yeah. Alright. Alright, this is just to prove to you that there are others with the exact same problem as what I'm dealing with. Um, let's see here. Sparkalot, 911. My game won't even freaking open. It gets to 126k on my processes. And then just dies. I'm using Nasus G73 JH running 64 Windows 7 and using an ATI Mobility Radeon HD 587 or 5. I'm sorry, 5870 graphics card. I can't figure out what the problem is. Angry face. Uh, I have seen at least one other person in this this forum right here. And this was posted on the day of the release that uh, has the exact same computer, uh, same exact issue. Um, I think it could be ATI. I've seen other ASUSs on here. Um, if you've watched any of my other videos, you probably know I already, or you probably already know that I have an ASUS G73JH uh, store bought, unfortunately. Um, but it could be the ATI drivers. I don't know how to change that back. So, I mean, if you want to give me tips on that, whatever. 
I'm not very computer savvy, I just bought this computer because it sounded like it could handle a lot. Um, and it can. It's, it's a very nice computer. But that's not the topic. The topic is, I want to get my game running, and it will not run. As you can obviously see, and other people have the exact same problem. So, uh, if you've got an answer, I think everybody would be willing to uh, listen to you. Uh, let me go to the very bottom of the screen. When I for okay, first day, when I got off, there were, I'd say, 18 pages. Today, four days later, 83 pages of this. I don't know if that constitutes anything, but uh, if it does, I'd say it constitutes that uh, DICE and EA address this problem because 83 pages of the same exact thing, 83 full uh, pages, I, I'm presuming I haven't actually looked at this yet. Um, uh, yeah, about 83. Yeah, 82 and a half, I'd say. But, whatever. Same thing. Uh, yeah, that that's a lot of posts of people who have the exact same problem. I'm, I'm just a little surprised that, uh, there has been no reply by DICE or EA or Origin in any kind of way. So, if this is a lesson to anything... It should be, or a lesson of anything, it should be that uh, all games should be run off of their discs, not uh, not some website. Alright, well, yeah. If you have any comments, anything like that, just any suggestions, uh, just go ahead. Uh, I'll see what I can do, see what's going on. Um, hopefully by, you know, next week at this time, uh... The game will be up and running with very few problems as uh, Battlefield Bad Company 2 took, I'd say, several weeks to, uh, I don't know, fix, moderate so that everybody could uh, partake in the video game play. But the ridiculous part is that I can't even play single player because of this, so any help at all would be very, very graciously accepted. Um, Thank you.